everyone this is my 4G speaks a build showcase i'm going to show you how well this design is performing show you what every building is making give you some ideas on how to further improve this design and near the end i'm going to show you what it looks like on the visualizer so this design is doing about 25 of the 4G speaks per hour which is pretty good it's better than the design i shared a couple months ago that one was doing 22 per hour but the reason it's better is probably because we were given an extra river to work with now 25 per hour is pretty good but this design is actually able to hit 30 per hour if you manage to increase the milk production that's the only thing it needs so it is making enough flour sugar salts white rice rice vinegar tomato paste and eggs in order to actually hit 30 per hour but it's only making enough milk to hit between 25 to 27 per hour if you were to perfectly balance it because milk has to be used for butter production as well as cheese production so it's balanced between those two items uh, right now it's at 25 per hour despite having enough milk for 27 per hour just because it's slightly over producing the cheese right here but overall better than my previous design it's good and it tells you immediately what you need to know to improve this 230 per hour there are 18 tree farms 15 are on a green craft timer three of them are not because they're affected by shade there are five wheat fields three sugarcane fields four tomato farms tomato farms need four water in order to be built and three water to grow there are four rice fields rice fields need 10 water to build but eight water to grow there are six salt fields all of those are also on a green craft timer because they're right next to the ocean for the livestock there are 13 milk barns there are two chicken coops one is on a green craft timer the other one is on a red craft timer this gives me pretty much exactly the amount of eggs that i need for 30 per hour but if you just wanted 25 per hour you could get rid of this chicken coop right here and replace that for a meadow and there are a total of 52 meadows there are a total of 17 windmills which is not a lot because half of them are on a green craft timer so three of them are making salt on a green craft timer nine of them are making flour six of these are on a green craft timer the other three are on a red craft timer like so and there are five windmills making sugar on a red craft timer there are four bakeries two are making butter two are making dough there are three italian restaurants one is making pizza base two are making the four cheese pizza there are four sauce facilities three are making rice vinegar one is making tomato paste there are five mixing tents three are making white rice two are making cheese for the workers there are a total of nine tractors six loggers and four atvs for the storage there are three silos three storehouses one lumber yard which is not required in the end you could replace it for something else i just happen to have it here jammed with lumber and there is one fuel storage also most people ask me why don't i have a warehouse or where do i put it and i would say put it where there is supposed to be a meadow and in the very end you can simply remove it and replace it for that meadow since you don't actually need energy in the end of the build and we have our passive gasoline setup so two water pumps two power plants the refinery in between those crafting gasoline the refinery to the side crafting petroleum there is an oil seep to give passive crude oil to the refinery crafting petroleum as well as one of the power plants the fuel storage is over here as i mentioned however this does pose a problem and i wanted to talk about it now before i go into the auto cell you see the refinery making petroleum is closer to the fuel storage so the fuel storage will actually receive more petroleum than it is receiving in gasoline since the refinery making gasoline has to walk a greater distance to get to the fuel storage in this scenario you would want to put both gasoline and petroleum on auto sell especially petroleum so it does not jam up this fuel storage and the reason i did decide to put the fuel storage here was because it doesn't cast any shade and it would make the perfect location to actually place the fuel storage here whereas i can't place a building here because it would cast shade on this windmill so i wanted to keep this windmill on a green craft timer and that's why i decided to put the fuel storage right here also i don't have a lumber mill at the end of this build once again you don't actually actually needed in the end but 
I would put the lumber mill in this location right here. And at the very end, once you are done building everything else that needs lumber, you remove the lumber mill and instead build a regular windmill crafting flour. You could probably get away without this windmill and still make it up to 30 per hour since it does overproduce flour. But I would say better safe than sorry, you could put this here. Additionally, you could also move one of the loggers from this location and put it over here that's one of the things you can do to further improve this design but i'll talk more about that later and before i forget there are two trade beers you could get away with one i have two of them in case i need to sell multiple items at the same time since the trade time is 60 seconds for auto sell i have everything at 10 with the exception of gasoline i have that at 35 you could get away without selling gasoline like it won't jam up the build but absolutely make sure you auto sell petroleum or else you will get your fuel storage jam here's what the build looks like on the visualizer total cost is 13.5 million cash wages are 13,360 per minute you will have no issue with the wages since this build does auto sell a lot of excess materials and if you manage to get it to 34 cheese pizzas per hour you'll get more than enough money just by selling the four cheese pizzas there are two stages the first stage just shows you what the biome looks like at the start and here is the finished design for the four cheese pizza build you can find the file for this on my discord server or you may also be able to find the file on the lwg townstar visualizer once crypto dude has added it in for me shout out to crypto dude for doing that so you would go to the options tab search up for cheese pizza and you should see one saying dubstep raw 25 per hour for cheese pizza you would click import build and it will import it for you now the one you see here saying 22 per hour may of 2023 that's the build i made a few months ago it is very similar but it only uses one ocean and one river and the ocean and river would actually be across from each other as you can see so this can give you another idea but you can't use this exact same build you would have to tweak it and it only does 22 per hour whereas the one i just showcased does 25 per hour regardless it gives you two different ideas of what to work with for the 4g speaks of design as usual no nfts are required in order to get to this production rate so i'll mention some tips that may help you improve this design even further first of all pay attention to the way i rotate my buildings usually i don't show every single building's rotation you just have to pay attention but notice how i rotate my milk barns to make sure that the cows go for specific meadows first and this will help distribute which meadows they go for and how much feed they're actually getting and that would help improve the milk production rate so this one's actually facing the logger and i would probably be better off having it face this other direction over here so yeah basically just mess around with the rotations because it does affect your production rates especially for the bakeries over here since you do have to balance butter and cheese production since they both use milk you may want to consider rotating some bakeries or some of the storehouses so you could rotate this bakery facing this windmill over here you could also rotate this bakery facing over here but that would probably end up with too little butter production rate if you do both of those you could also rotate the storehouse so the bakeries get to it quicker than the mixing tents or vice versa totally up to you but that is one thing i would look out for just changing the rotation of these buildings will actually make a difference another thing would be the storage capacity with the storehouses so i am running three storehouses but that is cutting it close if you look at my production monitor you can see that i've lost some items such as one cheese two eggs five flour it has been running for five hours so i really don't lose much i haven't lost any four cheese pieces but i could have lost one for cheese pizza if you really want to you could add another storehouse just so you won't run into an issue where you're losing production i don't believe this build will ever jam up but if you're afraid that it will you can add another storehouse what you could do is replace this lumber yard right here and put a storehouse over here i do have three silos that is to make sure that these two silos always have the sugarcane wheat husk rice and tomatoes and this other silo right here only ever has brine and sugarcane. Yes, sugarcane's not supposed to go here, but these two sugarcane fields, occasionally the farm tractors will take sugarcane over here, but it's completely okay. Sugarcane gets overproduced anyways. You could probably easily fix this. Just put two trees here and put the two sugarcane farms over here. In fact, I probably could have done that if I thought of that sooner. So there you go. That's probably a better idea to do. 
put the sugarcane fields here, put two tree farms right here, and boom, problem solved. Other than that, really, the biggest improvement you can make to this design is increasing the milk production rate. Like I already mentioned, there are different ways you could do that. Maybe add another milk barn, maybe remove a milk barn and add more meadows. Or if you happen to have NFTs to help you with this, the meadow NFT and the milk barn NFT to reduce the craft time of both of those would help significantly. It'll likely push you to 30 4 g pieces per hour if you happen to have both of those nfts now of course this is a no nft required build and even without nfts 25 per hour is good enough to absolutely win the competition but you know having those two nfts in this design would solve that milk production issue and get you up to 30 per hour without having to even move anything else around and yeah that's all i have hopefully you found this helpful or informative if you did leave a like leave a comment consider subscribing if you haven't done so if you ever want to help support the channel you can find links in the description to do so as always i appreciate your support and thank you for watching.